hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel again uh, this video is part two where we are going to display data in react components and see how we can work with those data types whether it is arrays and objects uh, this video is also a part two for uh, learn react in an easy way uh, that's the series i have started off in my previous video if you have not already seen that i would highly recommend to see that part one video where we see how to set up the react environment with node.js nvm or any other things so kindly go through that uh, video and uh, it would help you to kick start with the basic react setup and its tools needed so we already learned how to start the development server and then um, get the first template out there uh, this particular video is uh, the second part uh, where we are going to concentrate on displaying data now data is a very important thing for any application so even for building websites where react is being used or react components are used uh, we are going to work with variety of data whether it is simple data variables like a numeric or integer or let's say a string data type we can work with arrays we can work with objects or even we can work with array of objects so stay tuned and I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to display multiple data uh, types within our React components. So in this video, we are going to take care of all the data types that we can define in our component and then technically how we are going to display within our React components. Uh, let's take one very small example of first uh, where we are just going to display a data type which is uh, let's say a string variable. So let me define a variable uh, which is of our data variable. Let's try that. So I'll define uh, employee name is let's say my name. I define that now this is a small variable that's what we have defined within our uh, component and in order to display this component let's say uh, in the previous video we tried this one out we removed this template and then we just tried with the h1 tag so now if i just use an h2 tag and i use the curly bracelets and i pass on the employee name so this employee name would be reflected from here where we have defined it and this is within the scope of that component so the employee name would be displayed just like as a embedded stuff into the html so if we go back into the browser so if you can just say the well, root hand is automatically displayed out here if you just want to change that let's say we want to change this we say uh, we are learning uh, react components so if we just do that save it and it would automatically be reflected back so we are learning react components so that's a very simple way of displaying one variable name uh, but we can do uh, multiple types so let's try now another type where we have uh, let's say an object type so we say uh, there's an object called as an employee and uh, it has an id which has let's say one and has a name let's say which is my name again and i want to display that uh, in my react component so this would work probably in the same way but because it is not a normal variable it's an object and we can use an object with the help of its properties or its keys and then could display those so let's say we want to display that h3 so we say employee details uh, these are and we'll use an h2 tag down here sorry h4 tag over here and we'll firstly display the id so now id is technically coming from an employee that's the name of that um, object and then i want to use the id property so that's what my uh, id would be and then i'll just use an h4 again and i want to display the name so i can just use employee dot name i can access the name property and then i'm just using wrapping it within h4 so i save it let's go back and you can see employee details id is one name is rohit hunt so this is the simplistic way like by which you can just display uh, whether a normal variable or an object let's try something more complex like an array so let's say i define an array which is languages and i'll say c sharp uh, javascript uh, we have let's say ruby 
Python and let's say we have Java. So we defined uh, uh, an array of languages where we have uh, almost five values and array as everybody knows it starts from array index zero and then goes till length minus one if you want to go through a loop now these languages like this array can be displayed in different ways so primarily we can create an expression variable where you declare all those it will map through the values and put it into an expression variable and then display it or you can use technically a loop within the uh, react component directly and you can display that so let's try the other way around where we'll use a loop and then map through those values and display it within the react component directly so let's say I'm using a unordered list that's what I want to use and now I want to go through the individual values and I want to kind of a uh, individually display that so what I can use over here is so I can just use those brackets which is a, a like I'm going to embed my react code so I'll say languages and that's what my variable name is I'll use a map okay so you want to map through individual item I can say an item variable and index index would just start from zero it would give you one zero one two three four if you don't have a serial number or anything so you can use that index and uh, let's try displaying that what exactly you want to do over here so what we want to do over here is I just want to use a return and I want to use a list item and uh, within that I want to display the item so that's what I want to use over here and uh, this would exactly display uh, all the item it would fetch from one by one that is C sharp JavaScript Ruby Python Java from the languages and I am actually putting this whole stuff within the UL that is the unordered list now let's refresh that go back and see over here so you see these are all uh, unordered lists so I'm just getting that uh, kind of a bullets like uh, unordered list is technically bullets and numbering is where it is an ordered list so here I'm displaying C sharp JavaScript Ruby Python and all that stuff so that's how it works now you can do exactly the same thing rather than defining over here putting it over here you can what you can do is the second way around is so we'll say display I'll just put it into a different variable display languages is equal to and then what I'm gonna do over here is I'm just gonna map that I'll copy it and paste it over here it will just go through that the same way return item and index and uh, I can also uh, now use this display languages rather than going through the languages because I've already put this expression like a mapped item into a display languages variable so rather than doing this loop over here which I can comment it out I can just use this one as display languages so I can just display this and I can actually remove this we don't need it because we are doing it in the other way around so it is technically still used within the ordered list and uh, we just created our languages dot map item index return list item the item which we want to display so that whole expression which we were trying to display with the help of a loop over here that is the map rather than doing that we are actually doing the display languages over here so now if we refresh that it would technically be the same result so you would see you have the bullets and you have the same result c sharp javascript python so whatever the way suits you around either you want to display this way or you want to display this way around uh, both of the things can work it in the same way now before we actually wind up this video there's another thing which we can display the data normally um, in the real world scenarios also you would find those data very common that is array of objects so now we discussed a simple variable we discussed uh, the arrays also we discussed objects also but sometimes there is a complexity even more where you have an array of objects so let's try declaring that so what we are going to do over here is we'll display uh, employees data and this data is going to be an array of objects and every object is going to have an ID let's say which is one and a name which is let's say 
uh, rohit and I have another object where I have an ID again and um, let's say this is two and a name which is let's say uh, Wendy okay so you have an array of objects so now you have two things one is uh, it's an array because you can see we are actually putting it as in the form of an array and then you have two uh, objects within that so that's why it's called as an array of objects so technically we can loop through this array of objects but then every item when you loop through would be an object and the object contains an id and a name key uh, where you have some key and a value property for that name okay now how we are going to display that uh, let's say we, you want to display it in the form of a tabular data or anything you can use a table tag so let's try using the table tag over here and let's try to put it in the same way so we'll use a table tag uh, I'll just get uh, width has 50% border is equal to one pixel um, this is only for the demonstration purpose so I'm just using uh, the width and border like this otherwise the recommended way would be to use the styles or to use the classes which we'll cover in the coming videos once we'll cover all the concepts of react but right now for the demonstration purpose I'm just giving some style width of 50% and border is equal to one pixel okay now we'll cover the table head which is going to be the header and then I'm going to use our table uh, row tag okay and within the table row tag I need to supply two columns so one is my let's say uh, the th which is my uh, ID or the employee name technically and then the second one is my name or the employee name so let's try using that th and let's say employee name okay so you have defined these two uh, things and now because we need the body also where the actual data would be displayed so i'll use the t body tag okay and the t body tag would exactly contain the data that what we are going to display and uh, what's exactly it's going to display is so we'll be using the uh, uh, curly bracelets to form that expression and then because the name of the uh, array of objects is employee data so we'll use over here as employees data dot map and then i can use item and index in order to go to a particular item or whatever we want and then based upon that what we are going to return over here is so we'll just use return and then we are going to return a tr and uh, the tr would be exactly my uh, table row and then i'll just use a td so now td would be having two things one is the id and one is the name so i'll just use item dot id and that's one and then i'll use let's say item dot name because that's what the properties i can access and i'll be able to display it within the uh, tds so td let me just correct it out so this is td so i'll just need to initiate a new td so that's where td item dot name i'll close this td and it is closing td tr and table body and the table is closed out so that's how the data is being displayed uh, we are essentially using the same map item so we are going through that because every item would present an object so we are accessing item dot id because if you see it has an id and it has a name so if you see i'm presenting that id and name in two different uh, our table datas and let's go back and check it out this so if you see yes i have an id i have an employee name these were the headers which we displayed and one and rohit two and wendy so it is automatically displayed over here so this is uh, the most simplistic way i have uh, kind of a put it around where you can display multiple um, data uh, types to be displayed uh, within the react components we work with the simple data variable we work with an object we work with an array and we work with uh, an uh, 
array where you can put it as a expression variable or you can use a loop within the same one and then finally we also displayed an array of objects so array of objects also works in the same way employs data dot map and then you use it in the same way access the properties and you can use table tags or you can use bootstraps or anything uh, which we'll cover in the coming videos but right now we're just using the table tags to display the data and this is how the data would look like to you in your HTML page okay guys uh, thanks a lot for watching this video if you have not subscribed this uh, channel please do subscribe it I'll be coming up uh, with the part 3 and the other uh, videos for this react series so that you can learn react at a very simple and an easy way and at a pace which you feel uh, uh, is best for you uh, thank you again and see you in the next video bye bye